Welcome back. We are in pomegranate school today with April <laughs> from Rouse's. I'm so excited for this I love because it. I love yeah. pomegranate. I love that too. I know. <laughs> I love the pomegranate school 101, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. It's you know, it's really it's perfect because a lot of people see a whole pomegranate and yeah. they go, "I oh, would like to eat that, but yeah. how do I?" It's so how intimidating. Do I get into like, there? how do right. I do this? Well, right, I've never right. had pomegranate before. So what? this is going to be I yeah, love that this, this is going to be your interesting. So I will be the guinea pig here too. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I, I, you know, Taylor, there's a lot of things. And there's also <laughs> palm juice as well. So, so okay. you can also just give the juice if you want to. Okay. So pomegranates are actually a short season. So okay. now's the time to go to Rouse's and get a whole pomegranate if you want to be able to do this. But we do carry the arils um, throughout the year as well. So that's what the little seeds inside are called, the arils. Nice. Ah. So, um, so what we're going to do is... So first of all, to start off the pomegranate, I kind of started it off a little bit because <laughs> you got to be careful. It does have a little bit of juice that might kind of try to get on you. And I so think the best day to wear white, white pants. White pants, yes. All right, so I cut off the top right here. And then there's some little membranes in the middle that you can follow and kind of follow the lines. But basically, you just cut out a section of it. And I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, okay. this keeps it from kind of squirting on you whenever you take it out. But it also separates it out. So I have a bowl of oh. cold water. And I'm basically just putting it in the water and just pulling out the different arrows. Now, you see how at the bottom, the arrows are floating to the bottom. Yeah. And then the white part, which is the pulp, is going to float to the top. So if you get any, like, little pulp pieces in there, they're oh. going to float to the top. Wait, so it makes it super so simple. Easy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's so easy. So you just do the whole thing. You know, in the next section, you could actually just open it up and just start pulling it apart. Now, oh. you can definitely do this without the water if you want to, but it makes it a little bit easier. A little <laughs> yeah, less without mess. the water, it's chaos. <laughs> well, got little I was going to say, uh, everywhere. Right. Taylor's white pants might become a nice They'd shade of red. They'd be pink. <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, yes. we did Let's this. Let's try it. No. So, yeah, so we did this. So, now I have a couple of ideas of some things okay. you can do what can with we do the with pomegranates. These? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a parfait. Okay. okay, parfait, just a fancy word for layering some fruit and some yogurt and some other great items inside of a cup. Okay. So I have some cups already right here. At the bottom, there is some smashed raspberries. Okay. Nice. And, um, and then we have some just vanilla yogurt on top. Mm. And then we're going to layer some items. So I have okay. some things for y'all to put on top. So we have some granola cereal that okay. you can put on top so. of there. I'm going to do some of this. Yes. Got about 30 seconds. Right. Now this is like a perfect little snack. It really is. It's a great snack, and it's also great. This would be fun for kids to do as well, where you can let them layer it up how they want. They look like yeah. little jewels. Are these pistachios? They do. Those are pistachios. Yeah, yeah. So the it's funny that you say that, that look like little jewels, because I always say it kind of is like a treasure chest. When you get the whole pomegranate, you cut it open. Yeah. It's like you have all these red jewels inside. And I then this is it. some mint, too. That and that's you some have. mint oh, leaves yeah. that this you can perfect. put with it as well. And April, you got nachos to Ooh. show us yeah. coming up later, that but Adam, so you have a look at the forecast coming up. Yeah, I am going to have a look at that forecast after the break. So you want to stay tuned for that. I'm going to take a bite of this. Let's take a bite too. This sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So we made our little pomegranate parfait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ate the whole thing. It was so good. So okay. good. What right? else can we do with pomegranate? So with pomegranate, you can do a number of things. Yeah. It kind of goes with almost anything. Mm -hmm. the, the flavor, if you've never have, had the pomegranate, and that was your first time it having was. it. It was How really you good. Like it? Yeah. Well, the, I, I really want to finish this, but I don't want to like munch over you. No, I'm <laughs> But the flavor of it is kind of like a sweet tart flavor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So it goes with a number of things. You can put it with something savory or with something sweet. So that's why it really goes with anything. The nachos is a little bit something different, right? Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I actually have some rotisserie chicken that rotisserie I chopped chicken. up. Yes, Adam's, Adam's favorite. favorite. Mm -hmm. I mixed it with a little bit of our Rouse's honey. Okay? Oh, cool. And I'm going to put a little bit of lime. So you get the honey lime flavor with the chicken oh. and then you just mix that up I'm gonna put that on the top so we have our protein with our nachos okay now I'm not done we're gonna add some other great items on top of here as well look well we're I make would them hope not you know cuz that's not really nachos if it's just chicken oh on God. top that's, of chips that would be kind of boring you right? know it's yeah. a good nacho when it's Piled a mile high. <laughs> Piled a mile high. And and these are going to be n kind of messy, but fun, right? Yeah. Now, so this is some avocado salsa mm -hmm. right here that I'm putting on top. And y'all really know how great. I feel about avocado. 
Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna, gonna enjoy like it. it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna enjoy it. He's and gonna then we're like gonna, it. we're gonna add a little bit of jalapeno peppers. Okay. Okay. And then we're gonna add the our piece crown de jewels. Resistance. Yes, we're gonna it's add so the pomegranate. It's very colorful. A great holiday appetizer. I or like dish. it. Yeah, red and yeah. green. Very fun. And um, and just a really super simple thing to put together. Wow. So you have all of your flavors in, in there. You have your sweet, you have your savory, you have the um, spice. You know, got your spice and in there. You have to say that the best part about this is it's a healthy nacho. Yeah. You're not getting yeah. a ton of all the processed cheese and everything right. like yeah. that. You right. have this avocado salsa. I don't yep. know how it's going to taste, but I'm going to try yeah, it. Yeah, you can definitely try but it. But I guess I'll be the guinea pig. You're here. Right. <laughs> Okay, I'm first. One. I want to know your reaction. So I want to get a piece. Ooh, I love getting like a good chip. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. And get and get yeah, get a little bit oh of no. everything. And here's a spoon if you need to put some on it. It's a challenge, um, right? Yeah. Oh, but what, have a on you. you know what I love about nachos? You can pile vegetables on top of nachos and mm-hmm. really get in a great combination of nutrition and flavors as oh well. Oh yeah. What other vegetables so could you put with this one? Mm. Oh, uh, you could, I mean, you could put on, you could chop any any vegetable and put it on top of there, I, I think. That. What do you think, Adam? Um, this is going to sound really, really weird. Oh, no. Like bell peppers or it's something? Sa- it tastes kind of like this Chinese dish I get in New Orleans at one of the oh, Chinese really? restaurants. I don't know why. Okay. I have so many questions. Okay. Well, it's good, but yeah. I'm just like, why does it taste like that, you well, know? Yeah. Like yeah, it's a really great combination of flavors and pretty easy to make oh, and no. quick. Mm-hmm. It comes together. Pomegranates oh no. actually. Oh, no. oh you, here's a spoon in case you. I need like it. the challenge. I like <laughs> the challenge. Pomegranates are great. They have a great nutritional value to it, and it also is a source of antioxidants, which mm-hmm. are good for us as mm-hmm. well. So it's a great win-win to add the pomegranate oh, yeah. to anything. Mm-hmm. It's a nice little bright burst. I just it really love it. Is. I love yeah. it when you're here, April. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We'll I'm be gonna, right back after this. Y'all. I got so much to eat. I know. She expands my palate. She <laughs> feeds us well. If you yeah. guys want these recipes, klaf.com. April, thank you. Thanks bye for bye. having me. Bye, bye. y'all. Bye. Hey. <laughs>